Hello, I'm Sunny. I like to watch Cosmic Toys. Oh, you're a diamond, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello mate, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks to you. Not bad, thank you. What have you got on that one? Uh, 17. 17? I'll have that. Yep. Just hold it for us, will you? Yeah, no yeah. Cheers, I've got thank the you. Third one as well. Pardon? I've got the circle, I have to move something. 15. I'll have a look. Yeah. I'll have a look, yeah. You got any Well, it looks like a busy start, doesn't it? Oh, Lego. More Lego. Okay, I'm going to leave him setting up and go for a wonder. Ooh. Some very cool modern stuff. How you doing? Uh, the there he is. Oh, okay. Fifteen, I could do that one for. Okay. To be honest with you, it's more the neon colour with the other one that I like, the acid, the acid colour. I've got a couple of so, blue yeah. ones kicking about home somewhere. Okay. Where is he going? Oh. 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 Cheers mate. There he is. Thank you. Oh, it's 70. 
17. 17. Yes. I thought you said 17. Oh, no, okay. sorry. Thanks anyway. No, <laughs> I'll have to leave it, I'm afraid. Sorry. No, I misheard no. you. My bad. You too special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, let's give them a look at it anyway. Yeah, it's a really rare one. Is he? There we go. So if you've got 70 quid spare, treat me to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. Thank Cheers, you. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. No worries. Yeah. Some more of them. I've got some of them today. Yeah. All right. All right. You know that, mate? Hello! How are we doing? He's on YouTube. He's on YouTube, don't swear. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? You alright? I'm alright, the usual. I'm huh? fucking stressed out my head with this setup <laughs> thing. Anyway, I can't even complain. How's the shop going? Be keeping yourself busy though, aren't you? Aye, I did the muscle yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a brilliant show. It's actually nice to be local. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm looking into it. It's a little bit out of the way for me. <laughs> well, it was good for me. No, I, um, all, I, I looked at all at Northern Firs and they're a little bit too far out of the way, sadly. Yeah, we've also got to the day at the shop as well, so. Yeah? You've got to lose a day at the shop as well, so. It's going to be cost I'll leave you to it anyway, take care. Um, before I do it the rounds, I want to check out my it.
Twenty stars here, look. Big enough. Thirty-one inch storm troop. Big robot. Yeah. Man. Hello, how Sweet. can I help? Who are you? Barry. Barry. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your business called then? BBK. BBK, okay. All right. What do you specialise in? Everything. Everything. Yeah. That's all right then. Trains, Star Wars, clockwork, diecast, you name it. Yeah. I have to say I'm liking that supercar. Oh, no, oh it's nice, I yeah. give you a good deal on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And cake as well. Oh, yes, I. That's, You've got cake? Yes, that's the wife's part, yeah. <laughs> She's got a food hygiene rating of five, so she's excellent. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. She's getting ready for the day. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope it's a good one. Aye, so do we. Thank you. All right, take care. Yeah. Aye. Bye bye. Can't take him anywhere. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's all about having fun, isn't it?
Oh, I really wanted to have a better look at these. But I'm not one of those guys who go rummaging through dealers' boxes, especially when I know that these are likely to be quite expensive. And when I did remember to go back later, some of the best stuff had gone! <laughs> Just one minute. How the hell did I miss that Davros?
and this is where we have our regular chat with Nick from Nima Studios. Hello, Nick. Yeah. Okay, right. So, uh, on, new. So, who are you and where are you from? Yeah. What's your name? Where'd you come from? <laughs> but a right good day. A right good day. Right. So, new. Kidding you. New is uh, animated Ewox. There's animated Ewox and a new. So, we've got Nisa, who is based on. The clay sculpt from Kenna. Yeah, so they kind of got to the point of sculpting her in clay but never got to prototype. You can find all the details of her online. So there's Nisa, there's Bondo and Morag, who, as everybody knows, if you're an Ewoks fan, they got to prototype stage. Quite pleased with how they've come out, to be honest. They do look quite awesome. They've, they've, they've come out real well. Because I've always wanted the Morag figure. Yeah. The Morag figure is cool. Because if you watch the cartoon like I did when I was a kid, Morag is a real, like, poignant character. You know, she's in it a lot. So that's cool. So you got Bondo and Morag. We created this one because Morag needs foot soldiers. So that's the Yuzum. So this is the army builder. That's right. That, that's exactly right, yeah. Or as I like to call him, the evil chicken nugget. <laughs> but that's what he's basically become known as in the studio, is the evil chicken nugget. But yeah, the Yuzum, you might eat a Star Wars factoid for you. You have actually seen him in live action. Because there's a, a, a one of his race is the singer in Jabba's palace in the recut special edition of Return of the Jedi. So there you go. Yep. So there you are, Star Wars factoid for a Sunday morning. Um, other than that, it's us playing around and having a lot of fun because you've got yeah, the I spied that. Real really. like Hunter that, ball ball. That is awesome. Which we've done, we've only made 10. It's a limited edition of 10 pieces. Um, the idea behind him is, is that there is a sequence in Caravan of Courage where Cinder and Mace are being chased by the ball wolf and the moonlight is out and it's and you get the silhouette and it's reflecting off his teeth and everything so we've done this kind of moonlight colour and this blue is kind of depicted because you can't just do black and you can't just do silver you've got to do it so it actually looks like it's kind of like shimmering so there's that uh, and again us having fun but these two, which are, we're calling them Talisman of the Raven. Now, again, a little Star Wars history lesson for anybody out there that doesn't know. Sheral, who is the witch mm -hmm. in the Battle for Endor, is a knight sister. Yes, and has been confirmed as a knight sister. But never used to be, did she? No, she never used no. to be, but they've, they've oh. retconned red, red that. She it, and she is a knight sister. Now, she has a knight sister artifact on her finger, which is called the Talisman of the Raven, which is a little ring that she switches on and it turns into the Raven. But as you see in the movie, it's the whole crystal glow. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and she sparkles and turns red and then turns into the bird, right? So we've done a Talisman of the Raven Sheral in this translucent glitter-infused red plastic. And we've done this one here, which is the King Tech, which is the destruction of the, of the talisman at the end of the movie when Wicket throws the rock and it hits the ring on the, on the chain around his, around his neck and he turns into fire and stuff. This one actually glows under black light. Oh. So those again are limited editions, those two of 10 pieces Have you been each. watching my live streams at all? Occasionally when I get... So you realise that I have cabinets behind me with black light? Yes. So he glows. Yeah. So j just say that again. What? When, when I asked you that question, you had a very knowing look on your face. I, I, when I, you I'm, said aware, yes. I'm aware that you, you've got black light, yeah, but that, does, <laughs> that doesn't influence my choices. Of course it doesn't. That doesn't influence my choices. He's lying now. <laughs> I am lying, but yes, that, that's, that's, that's what's new. That's what's new. Not a lot, because we're deep into, we're, as, as, as same as the last time I spoke to you, we're deep into production and, and orders and trying to fulfill everything. For yeah, everything. I know, so, I have been keeping up with your little so nice. um, videos that you've been putting up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to mooch on, and I'll see you later. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs>
so I am back home now and I can show you my little mini haul uh, of eclectic bits and bobs that I picked up at Bolton Toy Fair. Uh, if you remember last time I picked up the reboot um, playset down in the cabinet somewhere, the little micro head playset. Um, well, I got that from Grimble Comics and once again, he didn't let me down. He had a couple of cool little bits that I just had to had to snap up off him as well. He did me a deal as well, bless him. I didn't ask him to, but he did me. Wonderful, wonderful chap. So we got this guy. We got two um, Ultraman pieces. There was this one. Um, forgive me, I'm not up on Ultraman characters, so I can't tell you the names of them off the top of my head. It's I didn't know. I checked it before filming this, and it's gone already. <laughs> I know my Godzilla, but I don't know my Ultraman. <laughs> uh, so there's this guy. This is a vintage one as well. It's 1983, I think. Yeah. And it is an official Bandai product. It's like a, be a pimpled beetle back there as well. Pretty cool. And he also had this guy. A bit more modern. This one's 2013. And is a smaller scale. It comes side by side. You'll, you'll, you'll see that. Yeah. They're, they're, they're really cool. Look at them. There's just so much character in these things. I love them. I do. I love them. Um, so, yeah, we've got that. Excuse creaky chair, right? <laughs> kind of need to get a new chair. <laughs> um, and the guys on the stall right next door to me, they were busy from the beginning of the day till the very, very end of the day. They just had piles and piles and piles of boxes full of excuse this guys i do not mean this in the way that it comes across but piles of tat it's stuff that they've probably carried a while and they're having a really really good clear out and they were doing everything at two pounds each so people were having a really good rummage it was i would say it's 99 percent die cast there were a few other bits and bobs in there but it was 90 percent die cast um it's where that um cadbury set was that i show you in the video that i, I, I looked at the little die casting with the original wrappers in there uh, and two quid two quid anyway I picked these up off them um, I got that one first because this is something I had as a kid um, it's Donald Duck obviously it's in really good condition a little bit of paint wear at the very front there and Donald himself has yellowed a bit but other than that it's in really really nice condition uh, and that's it's dated 1979 so it was probably early 80s and it's matchbox uh, but yeah uh, I, I, I loved that as a kid I don't know what happened to mine but I've got them back now uh, also from them uh, I saw this sticking up out of a box and I was like I know what that is I can't believe that's in there. I can't believe no one had already nabbed it. But I was more concerned as to whether or not I'd find the rest of it there. And that's this. Now, if you're not in the know, this is the barrel of a G1 original vintage Megatron from Transformers. And with Megatron, one of the things with him is it comes with so many bits, they're always missing. And there's also this piece as well, which was stuck in there. So... I thought I'm having that no matter what and then I also picked up these while I was rummaging looking for the um, the rest of Megatron who wasn't there sadly uh, but we've got a, a dinky toys um, London cab that's 1977 one is this it's done up for the Queen's Silver Jubilee and I thought that was quite nice condition considering it was rattling around in a box full of die cast stuff that was getting thrown around all over the place and on top of each other and right next to it it's from the same year and part of the same kind of series Queen Silver Jubilee but this is Corgi so you've got Dinky and you've got Corgi and really really nice condition again the both not mint but I would say near mint so yeah I quite quite happy with those I couldn't go wrong two quid each there's a, there's a fair Fair little bit of a mark up there, I and mean, it was very kind to say, just give me a fiver for the three, because that's just a piece of plastic tat. But I can use that. <laughs> I can use that. 
I don't have a Megatron at the moment needing the parts, but I will get one. Though it will happen at some point, so yeah, thank you very much. And I know you're probably watching, so yeah, definitely thank you very much to uh, both of you. Uh, ran by two chaps. Um, also, not necessarily toy related, but I'm a big collector of physical media, movies, music, stuff like that. And I love my steelbooks. I have a real passion for steelbooks. So just, if the artwork on it is different, I don't just want the same old cover that we've had time and time and time again. Some of the original movie posters can look quite good. I missed out on the Indiana Jones and the Back to the Future because I was waiting for them to get reduced. And Yeah. You know what it's like. Anyway, these... Fiverr a piece, so I had to grab them. I got the thing, and this one is by Screen Factory, which they don't release them over here, they're US exclusives. And I was very, very happy to pick this one because I really, really like the artwork on there. I think it's really nice. Uh, I do have a multi region player, but it doesn't matter because I already have a steel, <laughs> steel book version of the thing with uh, from Arrow uh, with their artwork on it, so that was nice. Then, behind it, there was also this. Another copy. <laughs> but again, really nice artwork. I, I love this kind of kind of stuff. And at a fiver, it was a no-brainer. Now, this one's the, um, the, the normal, oh, is it Universal release? It's not a, a particular uh, studio that releases specific things. It's just quite generic, but it's nice artwork. Uh, same for these next two, these are UK ones. Uh, we've got Alien, which again, it's another one that I missed out on because I was waiting for the price to come down and I waited too long and they sold out. But a fiver? I'm happy now. And then another one is Predator, which goes quite nicely with it. So yeah, really, really good, good stuff that. And I, I also like the backs of them. I'll show you them then the, the backs on those are really nice so yeah cool stuff cool stuff cool stuff um the first one that i actually pulled out was this because it looks like one of those cult type movies i've never seen it so it's something that i know i can tune into and just go into it with a completely open mind blank slate for me uh dolph lundgren obviously an absolute classic um, no other names there that I quite recognise, uh, but this is a German release. Is this? It's all the writing on the back is in German, so and it's got the lent. I don't know if you noticed it. It's got a lenticular cover. So yeah, uh, another another one for the collection. And then these two also by Screen Factory, uh, just like the first thing one that I showed you. Never heard of them. But the artwork is gorgeous. I'm going to take it out of the protector sleeve so it doesn't detract from the artwork at all. We've got Night of the Demons. Just look at it. Look at it. I love that stuff. Really, really nice. Really nice. Um, again, a film I've never heard of, but I'll... I, I dare say I'll have a bit of a laugh with that one. And this one is Humanoids from the Deep. I'll take it out of the protector again so that you can see it. Uh, yeah, that looks a little bit like an underwater version of Pumpkinhead, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, it does look pretty awesome, does that? Happy with that. I quite like the artwork on the back as well. It seems to be like a, a wraparound style artwork. Let's see if I can do that. There we go, yeah. Nice. I dare say the other one's the same as well. So yeah, um, that was all of those. Um, I couldn't tell you the name of the guys that I bought them off, I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember, I, I didn't ask. Um, and... Believe it or not, I bought Funko Pops. I got these from Geeky Nerd Toys. Did me a cracking deal, thank you very, very much, Squire. Um, very kind of you. I got... The Marvel What If set off him. Um... I'm not a big Marvel fan, not not particularly, not MCU style Marvel either. Um, but you've got at least two icons there in the form of 
Captain America and Iron Man. You've got Falcon and you've also got Scarlet Witch. But they're the zombie versions. And in these, you, you know I quite like sticking stuff in this cabinet. And everything glows when I stick those UV lights on them. Where did that thumbs up come from? Did you see that? What? I don't know if that's coming through on the recording, but there's an animation popping up there. I, I, what? Okay. Fine. <laughs> so it, it dirt cheap. It was twenty quid for the set. So I thought. I'd I don't care about the boxes, you know that. They're just going to go into this cabinet and they'll, they'll glow up on a night time. And here they are. There's Falcon. There's Wanda, your Scarlet Witch. Look at them colours! Look at them! Oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Look at them colours. Absolutely wacky and mental. And they should look pretty awesome in this cabinet. Um, but the two that I actually like, Captain America, uh, Tony Stark's Iron Man, <laughs> and Captain America. Let's see if I can hold that in a way so that I'm not covering it up. There we are. I think they are absolutely incredible. Look at the colours on them. Just insane. Be nice if the camp. There we go. Got to cover my face up for the camera to pick up on them. There we are. Ooh. <laughs> and yeah, they are all bobblehead ones. Marvel ones always are. Star Wars ones always are. Um, but yeah, awesome. I can't wait to see them in there later. And that wasn't all. There was one other that. He, well, he had. All, oh, where have I put them? Where have I put them? There we go. Not if you can see them there, but I've got the. You, you might have seen them in a previous video. I've got the Killer Clowns from Outer Space Blacklight ones as well. And he had four of them, which was those three. So I didn't mean to buy those again. But he also had this version of Jumbo. Now, there is a Jumbo there, but you can just about see that he's got a bright pink head. This one has a yellow head. So it is different. So, I want, yes, I'm, I'm going to treat myself to that one as well. 15 quid, which I thought was a fair price, so it would have been 35 quid, but we've spoken a few times and he's a really nice chap and he very kindly let me have, without asking, he very kindly let me have them have all the pops for 30 quid. So, cheers very much matey, thank you. Uh, what else did I pick up? Well, I cannot go to Bolton and talk to Nick from Nima without him emptying my wallet, can I? But a right good day, a right good day. Yeah, I got some more awesome Nima Studio Stroke Cheesecake Customs figures. And yeah, um, I have spoke to him about this now because I've started taking them out of the packets. And I've got them all on the shelf in front of me and they look absolutely awesome. Because if I leave them on card then I've got nowhere to display them so they just get packed up in a box and get stored away and I don't, I don't want that, I like them so I want to I wanna get them out now I'd like to be able to have the card art out on display as well but I've nowhere to do that right now so at the moment I've just got the figures out so So I have said to him in future, if he's making them for me, or he's bringing them for me, don't bother sealing them onto the card. I want the cards, I want the bubbles, but don't bother sealing them onto the card, just leave it and I'll, I can just do it, I can take them off then without having to tear the card backs. So he's very kindly started doing that for me, um, with this one in particular. Um, we've got, there we go, these two he owed me from last time. Um, it was December, wasn't it? End of December. Uh, so from the holiday special, there's what's her name? What's her name? Akima. 
Akmina, Akmina, there we go. She's essentially the replacement for Wuha, the cantina um, bartender. And then from Knights of the Old Republic, because last time I got Jedi Revan, Darth Nilus, and Darth Malgush. Yes, I am looking at them up on the shelf up there. Oh, he needs to do a Malak. I need a Darth Malak, don't I? And I, he, he still owes me a Darth Revan, so that will be coming probably next time. Uh, so this time we've got Dr. Demagol. And those are the card backs, the figures, here. There we go. Should really switch them because that's how I had them, wasn't it? <laughs> there we go. So yeah, uh, quite happy with them. They're going to go up on this shelf that you can't see right now. Um, also, he had these with him uncarded, available loose. So he's just going to drop the cards off with me next time that I get anything from him. These are from the droids line. Oh. Not droids. Ewoks. Ewoks line. So yeah, we got the Yuzum. Blue with black arms. And we got Bondu as well. Bondu he, Bondu's really, really awesome. He's really well um, sculpted. Not, not that the Yuzum isn't, obviously, but <laughs> they're both fantastic, Nick. Honestly, they're both fantastic. <laughs> they always are. But yeah, uh, you even said yourself you were really, really proud of this. And I can see why. It's really, really good. I've since had a look and seen what the unofficial, no, not unofficial, but the official unmade ones were going to look like. And yeah, you've knocked it out of the park. It's so close. It's really, really good. And you even went to town on his um, accessories as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, fantastic stuff on them too. Looking forward to getting the card backs. And then holiday special. I got the Wookiee family. Um, Chewie's family. His wife, his son and his daddy. Uh, <laughs> I love what you've done with his daddy. <laughs> Itchy. It's itchy, isn't it? Or is that the sun? Is it Itchy or Waru? I, I get the names mixed up. It's essentially a grey haired Chewy. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, but you can't knock the wife. Mala. Mala to book. Um, awesome stuff. Blonde Chewy with boobs. Excuse me. And the kid. Really, really cool. Liking that. Only thing is now, I mean, because I, I don't, I only get the expanded universe set ones. I need a shoey now to kind of stand with them, don't I? Um, right, who else did I get from the Ewok movies? It had to be done, didn't it? Had to be done. I got the blue blob. <laughs> the Barwolf Moonlight Hunter version. I love the metallic or pearlescent effects we've got into the plastic there. Really, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Very good stuff. Yeah, I like that. Happy with that. And yeah, it's going to go up there with the other one. That might bookend the Ewoks with them, maybe, do you think? I think so, yeah, yeah. Um, and that wasn't the end of it, was it? No, because I was with this from last time. Naga Sado of the Old Republic. Awesome stuff. And I had to have these. There was no way that I was missing these because these are more what I like. Weird, funky, weird crap. <laughs> there we are. Uh, Talisman of the Raven versions of Sheral and King Terra. Really, really like those really like those especially this one especially this one so it's like one of the well both of them are like those chase variants you get in the Funko blind boxes of um, reaction figures yeah I like them and I love the card backs as well I love what you've done there with that great stuff absolutely great stuff is that and I, th I think that's everything yeah, I think that's everything that I picked up this time. Yeah, here it is. So, 
with that said, which is your favourite piece that I picked up? Do you like any of the NEMA Studio stuff? Do you prefer the Funko Pops? Or is it all about Donald Duck? <laughs> Come on, let me know in the comments which is your favourite pickup. Um, is there anything that you saw whilst I was walking around that you think I should have bought? Anything that you would have bought had you seen it whilst I was looking around? If you were there, obviously if you were there. Right, okay, thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully there'll be another one in two weeks' time when I go to Doncaster. And if you haven't already seen this week's um, trading video, well, now's your chance. Thank you very much. Remember, everything you need to do, the like, subscribe, and ring that ding. Thanks very much, everyone. Take care. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, I've got to ask you as well because it's uh, Blue Harvest Toys Mark, yeah? Yes. I, I, need, I need your face on this. <laughs> yeah? It's his birthday. Right. And he wants to know if he can have a full set of V's off you for free. No. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after meeting you just the once. <laughs> gonna say. That was, an e that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you got me pricing gun. Yeah. yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> you got another spider under here.